Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading, a collective love reading for my no contact, low communication. We want to see what is going on with our person. What are they thinking and feeling? What does spirit want to share with us about this connection? What are the intentions moving forward? Anything spirit wants to share. If you're not interested in knowing your past person, check out your collective love reading for manifesting new love and um, confirming a love that's come into your life. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Spirit, please share with me. What is my person thinking and feeling today? Where is this connection headed? What do you have for us? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have distance, time apart. I can feel the distance between us. Um, just very much a feeling of, um, I can, you know, I can feel the distance. I can feel the, um, you know, the disconnect, you know, so if you're wondering, it doesn't seem like they're missing you or they're not um, even thinking of you. I, I don't feel like that's true today. I feel like they really are feeling the distance between you, the space between you. Let's see what I have. Immaturity. I've been acting immature. <laughs> One of us could be acting immature. We could be feeling like this is ridiculous that we're not even talking or you're not returning my calls or that you blocked me. You know, it's this kind of immature behavior. Um, my pride, you, you know, you hurt my pride. You hurt my ego with something, something, somebody's ego got hurt. I have, there's hope. There's always hope. There's always hope. So we want to see this. This is coming into me as a breakthrough, some kind of a breakthrough moment or just breaking down, um, breaking down their shield, breaking down their, their dis that disconnect feeling that I'm, that I have. And let's get one more. I have, I'm at a crossroads, which way from here, how do we go from here or where do we go from here? You know, that's always the difficulty, you know, in these situations, like, do I move on or are they moving on or are we going to find our way back to each other? Those are always what is happening with these connections. But spirit's going to guide you which direction and which crossroads. Just keep listening. Keep listening to your inner voice. You'll, you'll get the messages. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you have for us? Welcome back, everybody. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'd love for you to join us and uh, comment below. Spirit, tell me about, let's go with this hope. Let's talk about this breakthrough. Let's talk about this breakthrough. Uh, two of Wands. I have an Ace of Cups. I have a three of pentacles, teamwork, working together. I have a king of pentacles, faithful, investing in a home, investing in, in our future, thinking about a future, thinking about a future with you, and even a, a new beginning with you, even a, even a starting over energy, you know, bringing back that newness. So there's definitely a feeling of... Um, I want to say, you know, when somebody, even when you're in separation, it, it, there's people that are put in your life that you say, I will always love you no matter what, even if we're not together, I will always love you. And that, that's how it's coming into me today, that I've got somebody in your life that even if you're not talking to them today, that love didn't go away. The sun. Yeah, I do feel like a, a new beginning, a fresh start. Can we get back together and get back to the joy and the happiness that we had? Can we find that in our heart? Because, you know, I don't want to give up on this love and I don't want to give up on this feeling of I will always love you. You know, so this isn't somebody who walked away and never wants to talk to you again. This is somebody who loves you and, and is still thinking about you change of changing in their communication a fast moving change in their communication and an eight of swords you know i just don't want to feel trapped i was starting to feel trapped i was starting to feel held back um very much a victim in mentality right those are the key words that the cards are giving me in this deck but i do feel like i 
you know, miss the person that I fell in love with. You know, I miss the person that that um, I made promises to and that we shared everything together. So I, I will give you that. I will say that there's this missing. Here's the star. I have renewed, uh, renewed faith. I like this. I like this renewal, you know, this renewal of of of, um, of love, even, you know, just this, I will all always love you. And I'll, I'm never going to lose faith in us. I'm never going to um, lose hope that that one day that we will be back together. So I feel like it's beautiful. I know that I'm withdrawn. I know that I'm alone right now. I know that you miss me. I miss you with this passion. And I have like this emperor coming in with um, you know, you're the one that I want is how it's coming into me. Like, I don't want to be with anybody else. You're the only person that I want to be with. So some of you it could be you're feeling that way about your person. They could be feeling that way about you. But it, it's just a feeling of I don't want to be with anybody else. Like, you're the one that I want to be with. So this has nothing to do with interference or, you know, the bottom of the deck, they're saying starting fresh you know, a fresh start, starting over, you know, like planting new seeds in this connection and, and just seeing, you know, can we reconnect? Can we can we find each other again and, and reestablish this love that we had? So today, it's very much a feeling of um, hope. I'm going to say that, that, you know, this, this, this renewal of hope, renewal of, of love and hope. And, and I feel like, you know, sometimes we lose hope in these connections because it's just so difficult. But if this love is meant to be, it will find its way back to each other. You will find your way back to each other if it's meant to be. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you have? I want to enjoy simple walks in the park with you. I, I want our life to be simpler again. Somewhere along the way, as it got hard, somewhere along the way, you know, life got in the way is how it just came into me. And, you know, whether it was arguing or fighting or kids or money or work, you know, I want to get back to it being simpler and it just being us again. You know, how can we do that? I need you more than I'm letting you know. So that I'm definitely in agreement with. I need you more than I'm letting you know. I'm, I'm missing you more than I'm letting you know. That I know. Um, be the wishes you ask for. What is it that you're asking spirit for? Claim it. Ask, keep asking spirit. Keep asking uh, the universe to bring this to you. If that's what you're manifesting, you can claim this reading. And let's see what else. Please, you've got to meet me halfway, you know, meet me halfway. And it is it is definitely a feeling of I need you more than I'm letting you know. And can you meet me halfway? You know, that's that's always the you know, one person wants to repair it, but both people have to want it. Both people have to want to put the effort in and the time one person can't repair um, you know, the healing that's going to need to take place in this connection that we can spend more time together and that we can get back to a simpler time or we can get back to a place in time that we were good together. You know, it's just a matter of um, what is it that we both want? Spirit, please share with me. Um, I'll keep pushing through even when times get cold. I'm not going to give up on you. I'm not going to... Um, you know, forget about this connection. I want to just keep working on myself. I want to keep working on healing. And if I do come back to you, it's a feeling of I'll be in a better place. I need to be in a better place. You will be, you will be the one to put me on the right path. Now you could have been the one that was always putting him on a, him or her on the right path that, you know, that you were the one that directed them or you helped them make good decisions in their lives. And now they're finding themselves kind of out in the cold here with, I've got to do it all by myself. And it's more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So um, you know, everybody thinks, Oh, the easiest solution is just to be alone. Um, alone doesn't answer our questions. It doesn't solve our problems. It makes it harder in a lot of instances. But 
people push other people away when they get scared or they just don't know the answers to some of the things that life presents them and they just figure they have to figure it out themselves. I need somebody to talk to. I miss talking to you. Okay. You know, that's usually the first sign is that I miss talking to you. I miss talking to you about your day. I miss knowing what's going on with your life, your family, if there's kids involved. I, I just miss our life and I just miss that day to day interaction. So that's definitely going on. And then one more, I guard myself so hard thinking you will hurt me. I don't want to be hurt again. So you can see he's in armor, you know, he's literally protecting himself with this coat of armor. And I don't want to, I don't want to be hurt, you know, again. So I'm guarding myself right now and I'm somehow trying to protect myself from being hurt. But, you know, at the same time, when you don't let somebody into your heart, you're also denying yourself the joy. You're also just denying yourself the love. So, you know, that's not always the answer either is that you can't, you can't not let somebody into your heart. So spirit share with me, what does my person need me to know today? What do they need me to hear? Um, some kind of renewal of love and hope is coming into me. And then certainly this feeling of, I will always love you. I, I believe that. I have a King of Pentacles. I have a Queen of Cups. I have a Knight of Swords. And I have a Page of Swords. Now, I do feel that I want to, I'm getting close to wanting to talk is how this is coming into me. Like my energy is starting to move in the direction of I'm, I'm coming up with ideas of ways to reach out to you. I could even be looking at my phone, you know, constantly trying to think about, should I reach out? Shouldn't I reach out? Um, what are you going to say? Is the timing right? You know, so obviously you can see they're going back and forth with these feelings and I'm moving closer to communicating with you. And then I feel like once they make up their mind that this is going to, you know, they'll come in out of nowhere and, and they'll just kind of be strong and determined and say, okay, I'm ready to talk. And, and that's really all we can ask for. But I can, I can feel this feeling of like reaching for the phone and, and just looking at the phone or looking to see if there's text messages coming in from, from you or, you know, I don't know, I guess you probably had a lot of communication so that when that phone doesn't ring now or doesn't text now, it's kind of like my phone doesn't even, you know, isn't off the hook all the time. Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely. Eight of Cups and a Four of Swords. So they can feel you pulling away. And I feel like that is starting to that is starting to make them nervous. All right. That I can feel you the distance between us. I can feel that you're pulling away more and more and you could be just getting tired of waiting and they could just feel you energetically pulling away. So it's just a matter of, um, you know, they've got to make up their mind and they've got to decide what it is that they want. If they decide that this is, this is still the person that you're the person that they need to be with, like this is bigger than us. And in this card, there's like this person looking on either with jealousy or envy or somebody that did get involved, but it's almost this feeling of you're the one that I want. So that could connect to some of you. It could be that they choose you and, and that they needed some time to choose you and they needed some time to be crystal clear that you're the only one that they think about regardless of whoever else is in their life that, that would like to be with them. Um, it doesn't matter. I feel like they see you as their empress. They see you as the loving heart. They see you as no matter what, I'm always going to love you. So I, I don't even feel like, yeah, I, I feel like they're, you're the only one that they think about. I mean, I'm not feeling like they're in love with anybody else or want to be with anybody else. So today it's more of a, they need some time either to heal or to grow, or they needed some, some space so that we can get back to a, a, 
a day and a time when our lives were simpler somehow. Um, either it got complicated or it got stressed and somebody just couldn't handle it. Spirit, please share with me my feelings. What are the feelings for my person today? I have, it's time to let go. I feel like they're afraid that you're uh, you're moving on, okay? Now you may be deciding it's time for you to let go. Only you can decide, nobody else. If that's how you're feeling, then, then it's okay. It's okay because you're gonna know in your heart what's best for you. But I do feel like they're afraid at this point that you're gonna be moving on without them. Um, I wish things were simpler. That is the message. That is the that is overall like they just want to get back to a simpler life there's something that has become complicated and it's been difficult recently and they just have too much on their plate spirit just said and and dealing with you know the drama of a relationship or the demands of a relationship i feel like they just got fed up and they just pushed you away or push this connection away because they want it to be easier. But life isn't easy and relationships aren't easy. And you both have to be willing to put in the time and the effort and the work. So we can try to make it simpler. We can try to, to work together as a team. That would be the only answer. My friends say that I focus too much on you. Nobody gets a say in who's in your life other than the both of you. Like nobody else gets a vote. So, um, you know, that's kind of naive and, and childlike that they're actually listening to their friends if that's the case. So that's a little immature. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. I've been thinking about calling you, but I don't know what to say. Maybe there's been a delay in the last time you spoke. So they know that if they call you, you're going to be very upset or you might not even want to take their call or you have nothing to say to them, you know, so they're, they've kind of put so much space between the two of you. It's going to be hard to reconnect. There's no one else that knows me the way that you do. So they do know that. Um, I don't know how to move forward in this situation. So they're, they're afraid of what you're going to say when you guys do talk. So give it some thought if they do reach out to you, like what is it that you're going to say? And Spirit's saying just listen. Listen to what they say first before you speak and, and let them have their say for whatever you know it is. And then you can have your turn also. Um, I want to take care of you, but I can't right now because of money. I've got to take care of some other issues. Life is hard. Life is stressing me out, but that's not a good enough excuse. I grew up with bad role models. I'm not sure I know how to give and express the love that you deserve. Um, again, not a great excuse. Um, they're an adult. They can learn, you know, by, by doing and being and being in a relationship so, and I just need a little more time. So let's give this a little more time if that's what they need for today. But I did get that feeling of them star staring at their phone and wondering what they're going to do and, and, you know, getting kind of that urge to call you. So I will say that that could change on a dime. It could change, you know, in a nanosecond that they say, I got to pick up the phone and, 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 and give you a call. But Give them a little bit more time. You want them to come back when they are feeling better, they're healing, they're in a better place, and that you guys can talk and that you guys can really um, get to a simpler place and an easier place in this connection. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for your kind words, your comments. Um, I really appreciate it. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.